morning guys today we're going to be doing a foundation test on the covergirl outlast stay fabulous three-in-one foundation and it also has an spf of 20 in it so recently i was on my um instagram and a friend of mine asked me if i had tested out this foundation yet and i was like no i actually had never heard of it so i looked it up went to my local store to see if i could find it and i know that they have a new one that just came out they didn't have that one yet the one with the red cap so i went ahead and just picked up the older style one to see how it works because why not so i'm going to go ahead and wear it today throughout my work day and see how it lasts on my face so i do have all of my lotions on i have my primers on i do have a little bit of like color correcting stuff on it's kind of a watery foundation. I'm going to go ahead and put one side on with a brush. Alright, there is the brush side. For me, the brush side looks a little bit streaky. Let's try the other side with the blender. We might just blend it out if it works better that way. So of course the blender side does sure it out a little bit more, but I feel like I like that side better. Um, I think that the best way would be to put it on with the brush and then share it out with the blender. We're gonna let it kind of sit and dry for a minute and then let's see if it has any kind of claims on here. So it says, I got medium made, it says all day flawless coverage, lasting power of primer coverage of a concealer and blends like a foundation in one shine free it says I don't know what's going on with my eye again i guess i'm getting another allergy issue going on i'll go ahead and just throw some concealer on this is just the tart shape tape in light medium all right so it seems to be working really well with concealers we're going to go ahead and just set everything i'm just going to use my cody airspun setting powder to set There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go and spend some time with my husband before he goes to work. It is now 6.22 in the morning. So I'll be back with the rest of my makeup and my hair done and everything, and I'll let you know how it works with other makeups on top of it after it kind of settled down a little bit. So All right, guys. So this is what Hi. it looks like with the full face of makeup. I think it does a really good job. I am pleasantly surprised by this foundation that it did not move around. It actually, put makeup on really really well I feel like it's not accentuating my pores at all which is really nice it's got some really good coverage on the side here where I have where I've got some acne problems and stuff so I'm pretty excited about it it's not gathering in the deep lines that I have on my forehead or on the side of my face where I have some really like tiny like crow feet lines on the side of my eyes so I'm pretty excited about this one because I, I feel like it looks really nice so I shall be back in about seven hours and we'll talk to you guys then all right guys it is now 1 10 in the afternoon I'm on my lunch break so we're just gonna go ahead and check out the way the foundation is doing at 1 10 in the afternoon so it looks pretty good so far I'm going to go ahead and blot because I feel like I am a little oily and I do feel like this foundation is very cakey like looking and I don't know if you can see it on camera but it looks pretty cakey so I'm gonna go ahead and blot and that could just be because I am starting to get oily and so sometimes when that happens it feels like the foundation just kind of pushes up to the surface on my face but I do feel like I'm super cakey now. And then you can probably see on this little blotting sheet there that it is taking off some of the foundation as I blot here. Definitely pretty oily. And I am wearing glasses today. So under my glasses, you can see where the foundation has kind of rubbed off, but not too bad. So at this point, the foundation looks really good if you're at a distance. It looks very foundation-y on my face. You can still see my contour and stuff, so that's really good. But I feel like it is super cakey looking. Um, I can see my pores a lot with this foundation. So maybe if I would have buffed it in a little bit more at the beginning of the day, it may be a little bit different. Um, but as of right now, it looks 
okay it doesn't look bad it's still pretty full coverage on my face so that's one thing that i cannot say that it hasn't that it's not doing it's still there as far as like the the redness and the crazy scarring that i have on the sides of my face you can't see it so i think it's doing really well as far as the coverage goes but as far as like bringing out my pores i can definitely see my pores just looking in the mirror from this distance here and it's about maybe a foot and a half away from me the mirror is so i can see them in the mirror and i don't really like that but other than that it's a it looks good so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to work I'm going to come back in another five hours or so and we'll see what it looks like at like 11 hours or so I'll be back in a little bit to show you what it looks like at the end of the day all right, all right guys, guys it is now I'm just getting off of work I'm going to show you what time it is real quick here we go 4 56 in the evening so I've had this on for I would say I think I started at like 6.15 or something. I can't remember exactly the time was, but it's it's been quite a few hours, a little over 10 hours. I would say closer to 11 hours than 10 hours. This foundation is held up really well. Other than the fact that it looks a little cakey, but I think I may have put on a little bit too much this morning. Um, it was the first time I've tried this foundation. And so I think that if I just go on with a little bit of a thinner layer, it may not look as cakey as it does for my taste. Now, it depends on how you like to wear your foundation. I like it to look a little bit more natural-ish. And um, this is just a little bit more cakey. So at about, I came home at lunch and that was about the seven hour mark. And at about the eight hour mark, my contour and my blush started fading away. So that's usually around how long my contour and blush will last is about eight hours. So I think it did really well with that. And today was a very cold day. It was um, minus degrees today. So it was like minus five degrees today and it was snowing all day long. And I was outside helping some of the guys with some of the with some stuff outside for about a good hour, I would say today. And then when I came home for lunch, I shoveled the snow because we need to, we have an ordinance here where I live where you have to shovel the snow on your sidewalk. So I did that. And um, I feel like this you know, held up really well. It's getting a little bit of red marks here on my nose area. That's pretty normal. As far as the side here and the side here, I think it just held up really, really well when it comes to the coverage on it for a good 10 and a half hours, almost 11 hours. So I'm gonna take off one side so I can show you where the coverage is. Okay, so here's the side with the foundation still on. You can see where it's just starting to fade away just a little bit, but not anything that I would be concerned about at all. And then here's the side of my face where I just took off the foundation. You can see the prominent marks in my face, the redness in my face. And so it is really just like a, you know, a huge difference at the 11 hours. I feel like this foundation holds up really really well some of the foundation did come off when I blotted this afternoon but not a lot and so after I blotted it didn't like leave blotchy non-foundation spots on my face so I don't know how that happened but it was it was okay it, did, it came off but it didn't really affect the foundation at all um, I did start getting oily in about eight hours or so when my blush and my contour and stuff started fading away that's when I really started to notice that my nose is starting to get oily but with that said it still held up really well uh, until I came home from work so this is a thumbs up for me I would suggest that you try this out and see what you think about it it's not very expensive I've got mine in color 842 and it is in medium beige and it's an all day flawless coverage and I do agree it is a flawless coverage I do feel like if you don't like cakey foundation use it very sparingly and use it with a beauty blender and really blend it out and pound it into your face um, it does accentuate your pores just a little bit but today I did not use a pore minimizer I just used my regular stay matte primer so I think that if I used a minimizer for my pores that it would 
take those away as well. So I, I, I give it a two thumbs up. I su strongly suggest that you try it if you like a full or coverage foundation. I think it is. So that is my review on this foundation. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are if you've tried this, if you like it, if you hate it, and if you didn't like it, let me know what you didn't like about it. All right, guys, so that is my review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you took the time now to do that. And I shall talk to you guys sometime next week. Bye.